हेलो एंड वेलकम एवरी वन सो दिस सेशन इज़ अबाउट ईजी ड्राॅइंग ऑफ द डायग्राम अमाइलोडोसिस किडनी यू नो अमाइलोडोसिस इज़ अ वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक फॉर द एग्जाम्स एज वेल एज फॉर द प्रैक्टिकल्स एंड इवन द एम सी क्यूज सो दिस टॉपिक यू नीड टू लर्न बाई हार्ट एंड वेरी ऑफन द क्वेश्चन कम्स इन द एग्जाम यू शुड सप्लीमेंटेड विद अ एप्रोप्रिएट वेल लेबल डायग्राम सो दिस सेशन विल हेल्प यू टू मेक दैट डायग्राम and uh, i will explain you how to draw it step by step so first um, when we talk about amyloidosis we should know the microscopic appearance of amyloid amyloid uh, protein this protein is is a extra cellular fibrillary protein which gets deposited in between the cells and in the hnd staining it will appear amorphous means it does not have any form then pink in color or eosinophilic glassy or uh, highly smooth in appearance so appearance is smooth there is no granularity it's just smooth in appearance and it is amorphous and it is pink in color it takes the color of the eosin stain so this is the appearance the microscopic appearance and then uh, we should know in which locations in which structures of the kidney this amyloid protein is getting deposited so mainly there are uh, these areas first of all there is the deposit in the glomeruli so in the glomeruli Yeah, how you have to make the glomeruli? You make the outer parietal epithelial layer. It is made up of the flattened cells. So this is the parietal epithelial cell layer, and inside it, uh, it you make the capillary tuft. So we make the capillary tuft. In this, there will be the uh, endothelial cells nucleus and the mesangial cell nuclei. So you have to make the nuclei, and in between you can uh, make these pink amorphous eosinophilic deposits. So in this way, you make the uh, amyloid deposit in the glomeruli. So you have to make this structure in that diagram. Secondly, in the tubules. So tubules, uh, there are uh, proximal tubules, distal tubules in the in the nephron. And how you make the tubule? You make the basement membrane. Then you make the lining of cuboidal epithelium. The cuboidal cells they have got equal uh, length and width. And then you make a rounded nucleus in the center. The nucleus will be stained by the Uh, hematoxylin stain so it is purple in color rest is pink then uh, in amyloidosis kidney the amyloid protein gets deposited in the peritubular area around the area of the basement membrane so it deposits in the basement membrane around the basement membrane in the peritubular area and later on it can even uh, get deposited in the interstitium that is in between the two tubules again it can get deposited next uh, site of deposit is the perivascular area so around the arterioles uh, and arteries it can get deposited so you make the lining of the vessel that is endothelial lining so you make the endothelial lining and lined by the spindle shaped cells having the elongated nucleus and surrounding it you make the amyloid deposit so this is again pink hyaline deposit around the blood vessel these vessels these are lying in the interstitium so uh, <clears throat> grossly when there is a myeloid kidney the kidney is uh, slightly enlarged and waxy pale translucent in appearance and uh, later on stages it can uh, get shrink because of the vascular narrowing and the loss of blood supply so it can get shrunken at a later stage but initially it may be normal in size or even enlarged and cut section will be have a uh, greasy and translucent appearance so now let us uh, move on how to make a diagram of a myeloid kidney so as i have explained you all these structures you have to draw these structures in the microscopic diagram so you draw a glomeruli by the lining by the parietal epithelium then you make the nuclei in the center you make the tuft the capillary tuft with the endothelial cells mesangial cells you make the amyloid deposits uh, with the use in pencil then <clears throat> you make the tubules and vessels surrounding it the tubules will be lined by the cuboidal epithelium and then ah uh -huh, one more thing is that you have to make a amyloid uh, cast you can make in the center of the tubules so because uh, the most common cause of amyloid kidney is is the AL amyloid protein, which is seen in case of multiple myeloma. So, in the center, these light chain proteins they form the amyloid protein in the 
cavity of the tubules in the lumen of the tubules so they are seen as amyloid cast so in the center of the tubules you can also make this amyloid cast in few of them so you make it in the diagram also then you make the cytoplasm which is pink nuclei of the tubules blood vessels lined by endothelium and then you make this amyloid deposits in the peritubular area like this in this interstitial area you can make amyloid deposit like this then around the blood vessels these are the interstitial deposits that we are making interstitial deposits peritubular interstitial so in this way we make the diagram and last part is the labeling so you label the amyloid deposits in the glomeruli then perivascular amyloid deposits peritubular then amyloid cast which is present in the lumen then interstitial deposits of amyloid protein so all of this which you understood in the diagram you have to label at the last so parietal epithelial cell layer and tubules also you can label that these are the tubules so this is how the final diagram will look like and this is the well labeled diagram you can also uh, label the tubules at the end so you just make the glomeruli tubules vessels and then amyloid deposits so for uh, further studying you can refer to my lecture on amyloidosis uh, it is uploaded in the playlist of general pathology and i hope uh, it is of use for you and feedback is welcome in the comment section thank you